It's one of the world's most notorious prisons, Karabokan Jail on the Indonesian holiday island of Bali. Nicknamed Hotel K, journalists are rarely invited inside, but we were given access behind its decrepit walls, where violence, corruption, drugs and filthy conditions are normal. It's where British grandmother Lindsay Sanderford is on death row. Last year, she was caught smuggling more than one and a half million pounds worth of cocaine. Sky News obtained this new photo of her. Looking dishevelled, she sits sewing in her stifling hot cell. In the background, another inmate sleeps on the floor. This overcrowded jail, built for 350 prisoners, now houses more than a thousand. Sandiford didn't want to speak to us on camera. I asked an inmate she's befriended how she's managing. I think people should already know how she's coping. She doesn't deserve what she's got. She find, she's finding it tough. I think anybody would. Myron Sukumaran, who was born in West London, is also on death row for smuggling drugs. Intelligent, softly spoken and full of remorse, he knows his execution could come at any moment. Like you can be strong for a short time, almost invincible, but after a long time, it's stuff just wears you, wears you down. And after eight and a half years, it does feel heavy and it does weigh heavily, especially on our families. How tough is it not knowing when your last day will be? Uh, it's very tough. Yeah. Do you try and block out those thoughts? Yeah, I try very hard. Yeah. But I guess it's not, not easy. No, it's not easy. Are you frightened? Yes. This is a prison within a prison. It's the maximum security wing where death row prisoners are held. Once they've lost every last chance of appeal, a prisoner will be taken from his cell here at around midnight, taken to a secluded beach or forest, even another island, and it's death by firing squad. The last decision that prisoner will be allowed to make is whether they stand up or kneel down to be shot. Recently released inmate Paul Conabeer smuggled these images out from the cells. Inmates taking drugs, showing off an array of weapons, even apparently partying with prostitutes. It's too crazy. You can't have women and men in a prison together. You can't have drugs and alcohol and, you know, hookers and all this crazy stuff going on. It's not supposed to happen that way. Lindsay Sanderford has lodged a further appeal against her death sentence. She awaits the outcome, sweating it out in Hotel K.